people that gunshot. It's like somebody's setting off an AK-47 back there. My God, that's so <laughs> awesome. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scooch back here again. Uh, I got Alec with me today, sitting over here. Hello. Seen Alec around. You know, he was in uh, Nick's Jeep videos and things like that. Um, he's got a, what year is it? 2015. 2015 uh, Volkswagen Jet, uh, Jet, not a Jetta, GTI. Um, and he's had this for, what do you got this for, like two years, yeah, three years? A little more than two. A little more than two years. Uh, and he's done a decent amount to it. We're going to kind of go over that today. Uh, this is this is the car here. Um, the reason I'm doing this one right now is unfortunately he is going to be selling it. Uh, so he's going to be stripping the mods off of it. And um, he is looking to get into the Nissan game and get himself a Skyline, which I totally support. Um, but I will be see sad to see this car go because I do love this car. Uh, he's got all the right stuff done to it. It makes all the right noises. Um, and I'm pretty excited to actually get in it and, and go for a ride because uh, he's going to he's going to kind of walk us through what he's done to it um, and just, you know, maybe touch on anything else that he liked about the car because he's been driving Volkswagens since I met him. You had the Passat. You had... anything other than a Volkswagen. No. God. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, he had a Passat, he had a GT, you had, you had another GTI. Yeah, I had a Mark 5 GTI, and then I got this GTI after that, and, um, yeah, I've just stuck with it. They're, they're awesome. They love mods. They're very happy with a couple Volkswagen's of bolt-ons. The they left a lot on the plate with this motor, like, this whole platform, it's, like, very mod-friendly, and there's, yeah. like, plenty of aftermarket support for it, like, you can go, you can go from mild all the way to... A, Five, six hundred horsepower build right. if you want, which believe it or not, people out there do have five hundred plus horsepower GTIs and R's, which yeah. are just that's, it's, it's, it's nuts. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. Drive, it's such yeah. a small car. It's absurd. But uh, yeah, I'll actually I'll throw in a picture of his old one. Um, he had it. He had fender flares on it and um, some nice uh, tarmax uh, on there, and it, it looked pretty. It looked pretty good. I always liked that car. I was sad when it went, um, but I'll also put up a picture of when he had. A red stripe on this with the red wheels. Um, that was my favorite uh, setting of this car, and I can't wait to. You know, I wish he'd been able to keep it longer, but um, he's kind of got tired of it after a while, and you know, he eventually had to take parts off so we can sell them. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab a different battery, and then we'll uh, we'll start getting into it. All right, so we're gonna get a little start up here of the exhaust, a couple little revs. Fire when ready, sir. <laughs> So we're going to be heading out. So, Alec, you want to kind of give us a little rundown on what you have done to this car? Uh, yeah, so basically it's like full stage two setup, like um, big front mount intercooler, turbo back exhaust. Uh, it's tuned via Cobb access port. Um, the tuner is EQT tuning. I have like the, the stage two 93 octane map from them and also the, the stage two DSG uh, map as well. Oh. So yeah, and like with all that stuff, it's probably, I've never dynoed it, so I have no idea what the real numbers are, but probably ballpark is like maybe a little over 300 horsepower, like 315, and uh, probably like 350 torque or something like that. Which is really good for a car of this size. Yeah, I don't, this thing's only like, with me in it, it's probably like 3,300 pounds or something like that. I love these paddles. Yeah. I've never actually driven with them like this, but I love I love how they look, and they're so nice because they're just con very convenient. Now yeah, oh yeah, I, I do a lot of like, like I randomly I'll be like taking a sip of my drink or whatever and I have to like reach across to shift up or something oh that hurt yeah. Um, but yeah they're good for that because you have a lot more like surface area to click with the, right. uh, with it rather than like this tiny little paddle that they give you from the factory which is like really not ideal not ideal at all that's why people are, like stealing them out of like RS3s and stuff or not stealing but like they're buying them out of like other cars because they're so much bigger now yeah so yeah, with the with the DSG tune in like regular drive mode, it drives really nice. It like optimizes the shift points so that instead of like constantly trying to be at like the lowest RPM it can, it actually kind of like lets it rev out a little bit and shifts at a much better spot. Um, so it's a lot more comfortable like that. And then when you're in manual mode, it's a lot more, a lot snappier and responsive. Yeah, it's not. Um, 
it, it is very comfortable. Like it's after driving so many of the other like A3s and like GTIs and stuff like that, just as far as stock goes, like it doesn't drive much different than stock. It feels very mm -hmm. comfortable. It doesn't shift super high. Like yep. it's, it just feels, it just feels right actually. Those big wheels in the back end. Wayne, yeah, right that's, down a that's bit. true. It does rub even without those in the back though. Just oh, really? The, with, with the snow tires, they're just so girthy that like if, yeah. I, if you hit a big dip right, it just rubs inevitably. I can't get away from it. But that's part of driving a lowered car, so fuck it. Oh, okay. I it's an off right there. Yeah, I saw those guys earlier. Fuck those guys. I was like, if we can make it by them with a thousand horsepower Mustang. Yeah, that's facts. If we can make it by them in, <laughs> in a GTI. <laughs> this is very true. I love, I actually haven't even driven it with the suede that you wrap the steering wheel with. Isn't I love it a beautiful that too. Thing? This is beautiful. That's what I'm saying, man. I, like, even though it was like just the cheap eBay wrap, it's not a real club sport wheel. It's like, it's just, it completely changes the, the feeling of it. And the fact that you're constantly interacting with the steering wheel when you're in the car, it's like such a satisfying upgrade because well, like, it's, you're always holding on to it like, wow, this is great. And it adds like thickness to the steering wheel, so it really yeah, it's it it adds the it actually honestly adds like the perfect feel to it. And I love the center stripe. I love how that looks in yep. any car that has it, even though it's not perfectly lined up because I did it myself. But I mean, it's, there's, there's yeah, no one like, else looking at it. It's pretty so. straight. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm looking at the center of the Volkswagen logo, and I'm looking at that. It's pretty. It's not perfect, but it's pretty straight. Close enough. Close counts. I also had no idea how to actually stitch something like that when I started it. So yeah. I just like started doing it and then once i finished i found out the real way you're supposed to stitch and was like oh all right that probably would have been a lot easier and that's probably why i ended up with like half the amount of yarn that i needed because like it just like fucking <laughs> they gave me so much of it and i didn't use half of it because i didn't do it right but it is what it is right wow, that just like instantly is that's so satisfying like yep. that and then yeah when you're in manual it just holds a gear and it does whatever you want are there multiple drive modes for this? Is uh, this there is, but it's actually, I have it set so that it's always in, like, the the feel mode is always in comfort, but the drive mode is always in sport. So, the, but to turn, like, to engage the pops, you have to, like, cycle through back to sport again, which we'll do in, once you do a pull right here. you shift it's like all right here's a little more yeah like it, it doesn't let off it like manual cars like they just like you're like ah oh, back and forth and it's you know it's fun but like this is just like no i want it it's just, just like here's more power every time puts you, you back in the seat and you yeah. just hold on which like i mean it's an automatic so that's to be expected but like right. yeah it's just it's so instantaneous it's so satisfying i love it and I then yeah this. you could just like put it in six and cruise yeah, you, you, just, do, you like, just put it right back in auto and you're just you're just cruising now and this like is, this on the way out here i got almost 30 miles to the gallon so it does pretty good yeah i think there's a single boxer in the world that gets 30 miles to the gallon <laughs> this is wow this is nice i almost bought one I, well i almost bought an r because i was i was working at audi at the time and i was like do i want an r or do i want a um do I want, like, because it was, like, it was either that or the WRX. Yeah. And I was, like, if I'm going to sacrifice the rumble noise, I think I'm just going to get on. Yeah. And uh, I obviously didn't get the R, but yeah. it was, like. And, like, if you cycle through to back to individual. So, like, it has yeah. normal sport and individual. Individual just means that you can change, like, because you can change the steering feel, and you can also change, like, the actual drive mode. So like, These GTIs do that? I didn't yeah. know you could change the steering feel in these. Yeah, so I have the steering set to comfort all the time, because it's smoother, at least yeah. I think so. And then I have, like, the drive mode set to sport, so that it's always, like, in the peppier mode. And then, yeah, to... There the they pops. are. Yep. There are the pops. And, like, the, the pops are nice, because instead of, like, APR software, where it just pops constantly, like, every time you let off the gas, it's just only above 3,000 RPM, and it only does it, like, three or four times, and then it stops. This is, that sound is so satisfying. Yep. I love those pops. If you just get on it and, like, let off, it'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! A couple of gunshots. It's like somebody's setting off an AK-47 back there. My god, that's so <laughs> awesome. How do you not do that constantly? Because it's like it's loud. Because it's that obnoxious <laughs> and loud. Yeah. It is great though. That's the other reason I have it, is just to do it occasionally. It's like very fun. 
it's set up perfectly. Uh, yeah. It's you, really easy fun. It just it, loves the shit out of it. It loves, it loves to go fast. It wants you to keep getting a boost. Like, this is, this is the perfect GTI. And since it's got such a, like, it's not a huge ass turbo, so like, when you, when you pin the throttle, it's like, all the boost it's is right, right there. there. It's, it's almost instant. Even though, I mean, the access port reads like 27 PSI as a peak, even though that's not accurate. It's like, right. I think it's like 17 or something like that. You know, it doesn't account for whatever the, the difference is. I forget what the, the actual technical term is for the difference. But. I just let off, I wasn't even trying. I just let off ever so slightly. Uh, even it, that's that's all you oh have to do. If, if you're above the right RPM, it just does it. Just it just does it. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. It's so obnoxious and it's so unnecessary. It but is it's so satisfying. It definitely is. And like, a lot, there's a lot of people that are like hate on that kind of oh, tune, yeah. and I totally see why. Because if you do it too much, it's wicked obnoxious. But right. I like having it just for like the time, the occasional time where I'm like feeling a little ignorant and I'm like ripping around. I yeah. sometimes like to hear it go. Bah, bah, bah. Well, it's fun too, cause like I'll, I'll get like I've I've seen people do that like on Subarus. I'm like, that's so stupid. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And then like you drive with it, and you're like, no, no, no that's fun. Like, and it, it, it's honestly, cool. as and much you can as turn it on and off. I as don't much as people hate on it, like I, the way I see it is like I don't, I don't know about other people, but I've certainly never seen someone driving around in a car that makes that kind of noise and been upset about it. Like, right. Everyone that has that kind of tune is smiling ear to ear, super fucking happy about it because they love it, and yeah. that's really the only thing that matters. So that's why I have it, because like it makes me smile every fucking time I do it, which is awesome. And I'm just trying to keep my foot in the throttle past the cop. Yes, So definitely. it doesn't make gunshots And it will, we I mean, <laughs> you're, you're at a low RPM, so if you let off now, it doesn't do anything. It just, oh, okay, it's yeah, just it, was, normal. It, was, it was fine. I don't know what but, I mean. Yeah, it's you once you really off. start once you really start revving it out is when it does it, which is another reason that I really like the tuner that I went with right. because it's not, they don't overdo it. They do it just enough. Right. And, like, right. you can ask them to adjust it based on what you want, but I was like, I just want it to be very basic and do a little bit of pops and bangs here and there, but, like, not be totally overwhelming to the point where I hate it. Exactly. They were like, they were like we, we're, we got on, you. we're on we the same wavelength here. Yeah. We got you. So yeah, All definitely right. worth every penny. Oh, I'm I very happy with. Now. This is this is like a. Thing. I've always. I've, well, you can see why I don't want to get rid of it. Well, now. that's the thing. Like, if you could have, if you could have your cake and eat it too, at this point, you'd have this oh, as yeah. your daily. Leave it and then just buy the Skyline. Oh yeah. Um, but I've I've said for years that like after working for for Audi for so long, I was like I would definitely consider like a GTI or something like that as a um, as like a daily. Yes, I'm not even, I'm not even trying. I, I forget it's even there. That's yeah. why that's dangerous, because you forget that it's there. Um, I just like the single ones between the ears. I love the, I love the blue farts. But, uh, all right, Alec, well, thank you for letting me drive this thing. Absolutely. This is This has been fantastic, and I've been <laughs> itching to drive it since I think you bought it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, let Alec know if you think uh, think he should hold on to it and not sell it, <laughs> and maybe, maybe just you know, put himself into massive debt and get a Skyline anyway, but hold on to the GTI. You know, it's, debt, it's things to think about. You know what they say, man, debt is life. That's right. Yeah, you're going to have it forever, so, so just don't pay it off and leave it to your kids. You might as well be cool and in debt in right. rather than just in debt. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.